Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we'll be reading page 46 to 47. Don't mind that. It's just a Doge charger. But it was really hard to enjoy myself. Because Roderick would start hovering over me when I still had 15 minutes left on my shift. We each got three and a half hour shift a night. But Roderick would cheat Manny out of his turn by taking the blanket right into the bathroom right before Manny's shift was supposed to start. Then Roderick would sit there for an hour, which would cut into my shift. So mom made a rule, we can't take the blanket into the bathroom. One night I slept with my blanket in my room and Roger complained because he wanted to use the blanket while he ate breakfast. Mom made a new rule that if you slept with the blanket, it had to be returned by downstairs by 8 a.m. By the end of the first week, there was so many rules mom had to put them all in a manual which had to which ended up being something like 25 pages long but that didn't solve our problems and eventually mom took the blanket away to give it to someone who deserved it She said it was because of our fault. We couldn't have something nice because we didn't know how to share. Grown-ups are always talking about how great sharing is, but personally, I think it's overrated. And if I ever get enough money, I'm going to buy a big castle for myself, and there's going to be a big heavy blanket in every room. When I woke up this morning, it was freezing outside. It was below freezing outside. I, it, I was relieved. It actually felt like winter again. But when mom told me I had to wear thermal underwear to school, I thought maybe global warming isn't a bad thing after all. I hate wearing thermal underwear because it's uncomfortable. <clears throat> And I feel ridiculous wearing it. Formal underwear looks cool when it's on the mannequin in the mall. But when I put it on, I look like a retired superhero. The mannequins at the mall are super buff. And they make got they make guys like me who can't spend three hours in the gym to look every bad um three hours in the gym every day look bad if i ever get in good shape i'm gonna sign up to be a mannequin model because that would be an awesome thing to brag about on a date The mannequins you see at sports stores are always in athletic poses. <clears throat> and it looks like it would be hard to stay in that position while someone scopes you. That's just too much effort for a job that should be easy. So... What I so when I apply for the job, I'm gonna do it at the bath and bath the bed and bath store. Mom says I'm lucky to have thermal underwear because our ancestors didn't have that kind of stuff to keep them warm. Sometimes I wonder about my ancestors, though. I have no idea why they chose to live here when they put, could have picked somewhere a lot, lot warmer. Looks good to me, it's smelling. 
But I can't complain because because they survived and everything. And they li they did let directly to me. So I just wish they could see how I turned out. So they'll know all their sacrifices were was worth it. I guess we're all lucky to be here because human beings had to go through a lot to get get to where we are now. At school, we learned that 10,000 years ago, a big sheet of ice covered the whole half of the planet. And people made it through that, I guess, we can get through anything. My teacher said one day the earth is going to turn into a, being an ice age and the glaciers will come back. But I hope it, it doesn't happen any soon. I hate, I heard glaciers move slowly, which is, which is a good thing, because maybe we'll have a chance to do something about it. I don't know which is cold, worse, a planet that's too hot or one that's too cold. It's hot, definitely. And I know, all I know is that today it was cold and it wasn't fun walking to school in the morning. I tried to cheer myself up but by things I like in the winter. But I just came about a really short Christmas list. Christmas is great and all, but after it's just a log slog, long slog to the spring. I decided to. This is the on, the only thing that actually makes winter worth it is the hot chocolate. I used to be in the safety patrols and I get hot, free hot chocolate at school. But after I got kicked off, I, I started bringing my own. Lately, I've been filling a thermos with hot chocolate every morning that, and that keeps me warm on the way to school. But today, Dad m must have grabbed my thermos and left me with his. I didn't realize what happened until I took a giant gulp of ice cream, I mean, cream of mushroom soup. I wish mom and dad would drive me to school in the morning, but they leave half one hour before I do. Okay, guys, that's enough. Um, see you next time.